What's going on everyone out there in YouTube land? Today we're going to check out a all-in-one device coming from Smoke and the name is pretty interesting on this one. It is called the Alike Kit. Yes, Alike. They're running out of names, I guarantee it. Presentation box, as you can see there, pretty bright, so yeah, don't worry about that. Slide off the sleeve, crack the lid, and what do we get? I don't know. Why don't you show us? I will. You got a user manual, which is always good, but since I'm professional, we don't need that. We got some other mumbo jumbo there. Here is the device. And yes, you guessed it. It's one of those kind of heavy duty, durable, waterproof devices. We'll go over that in a minute. You got one pod sitting in there, already ready to go. You got your micro USB charge cable. You got two coil heads, and then you got uh, what appears to be some type of candy here at the bottom. That is not candy, so please don't eat it. So the alike measuring in at 77 millimeters tall, about 43 millimeters wide, 23 millimeters thick. And it is constructed of a zinc alloy with some leather. We got some rubber. And this is going for that industrial heavy duty kind of thing. It's waterproof, shockproof, dustproof, all that. And it does come in a variety of colors, which I will show you guys on the screen. I will say this thing does feel really nice in the hands and it feels solid. All in one device, once again, not a pod system. So here at the top, we got your drip tip. This is a 510 drip tip. So if you're not a fan of the provided tip, it does sit in there tight, there you go. Uh, you could pop in your own 510 drip tip, no problem. So to remove the pod, we got some, some grip right here. And all you're gonna do is just take your thumb, simply slide up like that, and out comes the pod. Now these pods are gonna hold about, so they say 5.5 ml of liquid, which is a lot, so I always say maybe five mils. The fill tab is right here on the side, silicone fill tab, so when you go to fill it up, all you're gonna do is pop that open, which I always have a hard time doing. I always pull the tab open on the wrong side, and then I can never get the tab back into place. So yeah, don't be an idiot like me. I'm gonna try to do it, here we go, there we go. There's your fill tab, nice large fill port. Now the coil heads are gonna go in on the bottom right here. They will include two coil heads, and what's nice, they're using the RPM coil. So you got the RPM mesh 0.4 direct lung coil, and they got the RPM DC 0.8 MTL coil. And of course, there are a variety of other coils out there that you can use. So go ahead, choose your coil, and then simply just drop it in. Like so, make sure it's sitting nice and flush, then go ahead and fill it up, and then let it sit for about five or 10 minutes when you're using a new coil because you want to prime up the coil head. Go ahead and drop it in and then you're pretty much ready to go. I do not believe we have adjustable airflow control on here. I couldn't find it anywhere. I didn't see it listed on the website, so we don't have airflow control, but uh, we'll check out the airflow in a moment. Along this side, we got your firing switch. Of course, this is set up like a original, like a regular mod, so you're gonna have your firing switch, your wattage buttons, all that. Uh, this device is putting out up to 40 watts in power mode. Voltage, you're looking between 0.5 up to four volts, and it will fire down to a 0 0.2 ohm coil. Turn it on, one, two, three, four, five. We got this nice little LED display, a 0.96 inch color LED display. And of course it is really, really tiny. Plastic still on the screen. There we go. And uh, yeah, if you got your glasses on, you could probably see the screen really well. Let's zoom in a little bit. And there's your screen. You got your wattage, puff timer, voltage, resistance, puff counter. You could change the color. One, two, three, I believe will unlock it. There we go. And then you can go ahead and simply adjust everything. There's no temp mode. There's no menu system. There's nothing crazy complicated about it. It's just simply power mode and you could change your colors. Here at the bottom, we have two very small wattage up and down buttons that sit nice and flush with the device. Now this does have a pretty large onboard battery looking at 1600 milliamp hour on the inside and it does do micro USB charging, two amp micro USB charging. We do have a little silicone door on this because once again, it is waterproof, it is dust proof. So you're gonna have to open this little silicone door when you wanna go to charge it like so and then simply close the door when you're done so to keep out any water or dust and I don't know, that's pretty much it. I like the way this thing looks, love the way it feels, and it is pretty solid. So with that said, let's fill it up. Actually, I have one filled already. 
I've been using this one. So let's jump back up. Let's have a vape, shall we? All right. So we got the Smoke Alike. The name, I don't know. I, I, I'm assuming they're running out of names because the name on this device is kind of just, I don't know, pointless. Anyways, 40 watt all in one device. Airflow on here, a bit on the looser side. Not that it's bad, not that it's good. It just some people prefer tight airflow, some like loose airflow. But I will say the airflow on here is pretty wide open, so it's more of a direct lung device. This would have really benefited from having adjustable airflow control simply because we got so many quill head options. It goes up to 40 watts. It's kind of like a regular device because it has the firing switch, the wattage buttons, the screen. So having adjustable airflow control would have been really nice. But for what it is, we're going to have a quick vape. Got 12 milligrams in here. And uh, I'm not going to vape it like an RDA or a sub-ohm tank. Keep in mind that 12 milligrams does get pretty strong. So I like to take quick little direct lung pulls on it, kind of like this. Now I will say, because of the airflow, I noticed the vape on this. It's a really cool vape, and the flavor's good. It's got a good flavor, but what's nice about this is that it's using the RPM coils, so I can go out there, purchase a different coil. I think there's like eight or 10 different coil head options. And I can, you know, get something that's going to take advantage of that 40 watts. I can get something to give me a little bit more flavor, a little bit more restriction. Whatever the case may be, if you're heavily invested in the RPM coils, um, something like this, I think, would be a nice little addition to kind of use those coil heads. The firing switch, the wattage buttons, once again, nice and clicky. They have like a rubber texture to them. The screen is bright. It's colorful. But the problem is, of course, it's really tiny. So you better have your readers on. And there's no temp control or anything like that. They keep it very simple with just straight wattage mode. So if you want all your information like puff counter, resistance, all that stuff, it's right on the screen right there. Now the battery life on here is actually pretty good. 1600 milliamp hours. Uh, it depends on how much you vape. If you chain vape it, it's not going to last you the whole day. If you're vaping it every now and then, you may get a whole day out of it. So battery life really depends on the way that you vape. The USB quick charge port is covered with a silicone plug on this one, so you don't have to worry about any water or dust getting inside of there. And the mod as a whole, I think, is very well done. I like the way they had the silicone or the rubber on the corners, along the sides, the front. It feels real good in the hands, not too large, not too heavy. And I think once you find the right coil head for this device, if you like a looser airflow, you're going to really enjoy it. Once again, my only major complaint is the lack of airflow control. That's pretty much it. If you guys liked the alike, give it a thumbs up. If you hate the alike, give it a thumbs down. I'll see you folks on the next one. Make sure you guys build safe. And as always, stop pointing at me. Vape on.